This is a quick video to talk about one of the cool things you can do now that Tyke supports defining APIs in terms of OAS, the Open API specification. Now, because we've got a schema, you can use whatever editor you like and create an API from scratch, and the schema will do text highlighting, all that sort of good stuff. But let's assume the case where you've got an API specification that you've generated from source code, or maybe you built it a while ago, and maybe it's this big. Previously, you had a couple of options, no matter what your gateway was. You could rewrite the specification in the particular language that your gateway used. It takes a bit of time, it's a bit fiddly, but you can do it. You could, for instance, import via the UI. So maybe there's a wizard, you can click through and you'll need to tweak some bits and pieces and maybe you need to, to add some more settings in because the, the gateway doesn't fully understand the, the OAS language. Totally doable. It takes a bit of time, but totally doable. It's very different now. With Tyke, that created the API and that's it servicing a request. It's as simple as that. Now you can see this is just a simple post request and we put in this validate request query parameter and that's done something quite cool. So just looking at the, the dashboard UI, so this is the user interface for Tyke. This is the API we just created. Here are all the, the endpoints created from that specification document. And here you can see what it's done is it's actually looked at the validate as defined or the validation as defined within the API specification and it's implemented it as middleware on Tyke. So it's actually doing the validation on the Tyke layer automatically. Now that's pretty cool.